And then seven days after the kidnap of about 105 girls from the Government Science and Technical College, Dapchi, in Yube State, there is no information or clue on the whereabouts of the girls. Our correspondent, Amadine Uyi, brings us an update on the events surrounding the Dapchi kidnap. Kidnap incidents is one that has incensed many Nigerians. Though very, very controversial, Nigerians are asking many questions that need answers. But before we go to the questions, let's draw from a similar incident that occurred sometime in 2014. That is the popular kidnap of over 200 girls from Chibok in Borno State. Gunmen stormed Chibok community, uh, enter a school expected to be a boarding facility with female students, round, round up the students, telling them that they are there to protect them. And as the students are rounded up, many of them are, have carted into a, a, a waiting truck. After they are carted into the truck, the government begin to set fire on the school facility. It is only then that many of the girls realize that they are being kidnapped by the dreaded Boko Haram terrorist organization. Now, the girls are driven into the night and till today, over 50% of the girls are yet to be accounted for. Fast forward to 2018, uh, the same incidents happened in Dapchi, the same scenario that played in Chibok, where usually because of the insurgency, there is a military campaign ongoing. Weeks and days before the incidents, security operatives meant to protect the community and the school are redeployed and, and drafted and deployed to other areas uh, considering the fact that there is an ongoing Operation Lafia Dole going on uh, in the entire Northeast. Now the school girls are carted and in very controversial circumstances, uh, Nigerians did not get to know how many of the girls were kidnapped. But what was confirmed is that girls were kidnapped. So many inform so much information came out and many of this information could not be verified. But only recently, the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, uh, spoke to journalists in Damaturu, the Yube state capital, saying that government has confirmed that about 110 of these girls are missing. He further said that government is already meeting with community leaders uh, to ascertain the security situation before the kidnap. Now, back to the questions. Nigerians are asking, who will take the fall? Who was responsible? It has, it, it, it has been confirmed that not far from the government science and technical school, there is a police station. Why was there no distress call to, to the, military, uh, the military operatives operating in the area?